we are now getting to the most exciting part of the tutorial for me, and that is the wall sliding and wall jumping. This is what took me the longest to figure out. So to start off with, we just want to, uh, we want to be able to detect whether the character is currently close enough to a wall uh, to be able to grab onto it or slide down it. And to do this, we are going to use a raycast. A raycast is essentially just a laser beam that is fired from one point in space to another point and it returns a reference to any objects that it encounters along the way. And we can make it so that it'll only detect ground. What we're going to do is under player, we're going to say, we're going to create a new empty game object and we're going to call this wall check. This is the point from which we are going to fire the laser or the ray cast, the point from which we're going to fire the ray to check if there is a wall next to the player. So we're only going to fire the ray out about this much because we just want to know if the character is currently like against a wall. I'm just going to adjust the position a little bit. So if we come up here, I don't want it to be shooting out from the feet. I want it to shoot it to shoot out from about the middle of the character. So right about there. Next, we're going to go back into our script and we're going to start off by getting a reference to that child game object that we just created. So we're going to say public transform. And I'm just going to call it wall check. And next we need to know how far we're going to shoot the ray out. So we're going to declare a public float wall check distance. Then we need to make a private variable of type raycast hit 2D and we're just going to call this wall check hit. Wall check hit like that. And this raycast hit 2D is what the raycast returns when it hits something. So uh, we're just gonna use this to store what it's what the ray is hitting. So now in in the fixed update. After we check if the player is grounded or not, we're going to say wall check hit equals physics 2D raycast. And so as you can see there, the raycast needs a origin and a direction. And there's different versions of this. If we use the down arrow key, we can float through or we can uh, scroll through the different parameters the function can take. So this one also includes a distance after you give it the direction. And yeah, so we're just gonna start off by saying wall check dot position. So this is the position of the child game object that we just created. And we're gonna say uh, wall check dot right, because we're shooting it right. And so uh, because in the flip function, we're using rotation instead of scale, to uh, turn the character left and right, this game object is also turning. So if we say wall check dot right and the character is facing left, the ray will be shooting out left. And then we're going to pass in the wall check distance as the distance of the ray. And then lastly, we can also pass in a layer mask. And so the wall check, we only want to be able to grab onto the ground blocks as well from the side. So we're going to pass in the what is ground layer mask that we created earlier. And that, that's it done. So we should now be able to uh, detect if the character is touching a wall or not. If you want to test if it works or not, after this, we can create a little if, if statement saying if wall check hit, which means if wall check hit is not equal to null. So it doesn't really matter what wall check hit is as long as it's not equal to null. And so because of the way we set up the wall check hit, it will only be detecting ground. Otherwise, it's always going to be null. Um, and then we can just put a little debug statement in here and we'll say debug.log is touching ground. Even though in this case we mean a wall, but it's all part of the same game object. It's just from the side. So we can go back to the game and then we can quickly test this. So if we play it, we open up the console. Oh, I forgot something. You know, I should start assigning all the variables before I uh, try checking if it works or not. Okay, so in this wall check transform, we're just gonna drag this uh, wall check game object into it. And for the distance, wall check distance over here, 
it's going to be about, we only want to fire out to about here. So we're going to say 0 0.2, 0 0.2 units. Now, if we play this and we run into a wall, as you can see, the debug statement is coming up. And if we leave the wall, it stops. If we touch the wall again, we get that debug dot log statement. Okay, cool. So we now, now the player is detecting the wall. What next? Okay, so now that we know the player is detecting the wall, we need to determine whether the character is wall sliding or not. I only want the character to wall slide if he is currently trying to move downwards against a wall. So the way we're going to do this is if we open up the script, in update, we're going to say, check if wall sliding. And for this, we need to come back up to all the different variables and we're going to create a private bool called is wall sliding. And by default, we're going to set this equal to false. Okay. Now back in update, where we check if wall sliding, we're just going to say if wall check hit is true, then is wall sliding equals false. Else is wall sliding equals false. Oops, up here I meant to say is wall sliding equals true. So if the wall check hit is returning something, which is the wall that we're touching, that means we want to be wall sliding. But I only want the character to wall slide if he's attempting to move down, as I said. So in this if statement, we're gonna say and rigid body dot velocity dot y is less than or equal to zero. So only if the character is not so if the character is moving up, I don't want to say that he's wall sliding because he's he's you know grinding up against the wall. Okay. So next, now if the character is wall sliding, we want to make it so that he doesn't fall down as quickly to give it the effect that he's sliding down the wall. Now I don't have any kind of sprite prepared yet for for uh, making it look like he's sliding down the wall, but you know, function comes before form. So let's just get the, the velocity clamped so he doesn't fall as quickly. So now back in fixed update, after we clamp the X velocity, here we can come and clamp Y velocity. To do this, it's essentially the same thing. So we're going to say if is wall sliding, clamp the velocity, which means we need another float that is going to be the maximum wall sliding velocity downwards. So over here, we're going to say public float max wall slide velocity. Okay. And back down in fixed update, we're going to say if rigid body dot velocity dot y is less than max wall slide velocity, except we're going to make this negative max wall slide velocity. Then we want to set rigid body dot velocity equals a new vector two with rigid body dot velocity dot x as the x component and negative max wall slide velocity as the y component. Simple as that. Now, another thing I forgot to mention real quick, where we're checking if we are wall sliding, we also want to add another parameter to the if statement, and this is to check if the character is grounded or not. Because if the character is running into a wall while he's still touching ground, he is not wall sliding, he's just standing on the ground. So we're gonna, in the if statement, also add is grounded, just like that. So this should work now if we try it out. Oops, I know what I did. And over here I said is grounded instead of is not grounded. Okay, let's try this again. So if we run into this now, as you can see, the character slides down the wall. And if we go over here to max wall slide velocity, we can adjust it to however quickly we want it to slide. So uh, as you can see, even though the max wall slide velocity is set to 
zero, the, the character is still sliding down. Um, this is to do with the same reason why I'm using force mode at impulse for movement instead of just normal force mode so that I can clamp the velocity to a specific speed. Um, because the force pulling the character down is gravity, gravity is not an impulse, it's a continuous force, which is why setting the velocity to zero, or the max velocity to zero, isn't actually clamping the, the character's velocity to zero. But this works for what we need, so it, it's perfect. If anybody knows a better way to do this, please let me know. But so now that we have the character sliding down the wall, um, I'm just going to add something else. I want the, I want the player to, to be able to choose when it grabs onto the wall or not. So I'm going to go to Edit, Project Settings, Input. And I'm going to change one of these keys to a grab button, which means if I'm pushing down this, this button, the character is attempting to grab at the wall. And what I want the button to be is left shift. So fire three is currently assigned to left shift. So I'm just gonna change this from fire three to grab at, or just grab. I'm just gonna change it to grab. So now if I go back to the code over here, I'm going to make another bool called private, uh, yeah, private bool is grabbing. So now in update, I'm going to check if grabbing, if I can spell that correctly, so check if grabbing, and it's very simple again, it's just if input dot get button down, no, it's just input I get button because I wanted to return true as long as the button's being held down and the button is called grab. Then I'm going to set is grabbing equal to true and else I'm going to set is grabbing equal to false. So now for the check if wall sliding, I have another condition to add, and that's just check, or it, that's just is grabbing. So I only want wall sliding to be enabled if I'm currently touching a wall, I'm not touching ground, I'm moving downwards, and the, the player is actively trying to grab onto the wall. So if you play this now, you'll see that if I hold in shift and run into the wall, I am wall sliding, and if I let go of shift, the character continues to free fall. And that is exactly what we wanted. So we got we, we have wall sliding working now. Um, next, we're going to take care of the wall jumping. 